क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी एट ए बी सी आर थ्री नॉन कोपलेनर यूनिट फैक्टर्स देखोर आई कैन से ए डॉट बी विल बी इक्वल्स टू बी डॉट सी इक्वल्स टू सी डॉट ए बिकॉज द एंगल बिटवीन एवरी पेयर इज गिवन एस पाए बाई थ्री एंड देर मैग्नीट्यूड्स आर ऑल्सो सेम देखोर इट विल बी मॉड सी मॉड ए इंटू कॉस सिक्सटी विच इज हाफ दिस हेल्प अस इन कैलकुलेटिंग द बॉक्स प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ए बी सी वी नो दैट स्क्वायर ऑफ बॉक्स प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ए बी सी इज ए डॉट ए विच इज वन ए डॉट बी ए डॉट सी बी डॉट ए बी डॉट बी बी डॉट सी सी डॉट ए सी डॉट बी एंड सी डॉट सी वेन वी सॉल्व दिस डिटर्मिनेंट वी गेट द वैल्यू इज हाफ सो द बॉक्स प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ए बी सी इज वन अपॉन रूट टू using this relation we will proceed to know the values of p q and r we have one more relation given as a cross b plus b cross c equals to pa vector plus qb vector plus rc vector we will take dot product with a we will have this equation as 0 plus box product of abc is equal to p a dot a which is p वेक्टर ए स्क्वायर प्लस क्यू बी डॉट ए सो क्यू बाय हाफ प्लस आर सी डॉट ए विच इज ऑल्सो आर बाय टू दिस इज से सेकेंड इक्वेशन सिमिलरली वी आर गोइंग टू टेक डॉट प्रोडक्ट विद बी एंड सी ऑफ द सेम इक्वेशन देन वी विल हैव आई विल से इट इज नॉट टेकिंग डॉट प्रोडक्ट विद बी इट गिवस मी जीरो इज इक्वल टू पी ए डॉट बी सो पी बाय टू plus q b dot b plus r c dot b which is half this is third equation similarly the fourth equation this is dot product with b now dot with c this gives us a cross b dot c is box product of a b c then b cross c dot c is 0 is equal to p a dot c is half Q B dot C is also half plus R C dot C is R only. This is the fourth equation. Now we will solve these equations. This is also box product of A B C is half. So I will write it here as half one upon root two. This is our second equation. Now I will subtract second and four. By subtracting second and four, what we are going to have one upon root two is cancelled. P minus P by two is P by two. Q by two cancels. Minus R by two equals to zero. Implies P equals to R. One of the relation. Similarly, we will subtract second and third. By subtracting second and third, we will have P minus P by two is P by two. Then Q by two minus Q is minus Q by two. And r by two minus r by two cancels is equals to one upon root two. So we have one more relation. If we substitute this p equals to r in third equation, here if p is r, or r is p, then p by two plus p by two is p. P plus q is zero. So I can conclude here p plus q is zero. If p plus q is zero, then we have a relationship in p q r. using this relation without calculating the value of pqr which we can calculate using this relation we can find out the value of the given expression which which is asked i will substitute the values we have been asked to find out the value of p square plus 2q square 2q square is same as 2p square plus r square r is same as p so plus p square divided by it is q square which is again minus p so p square we can say it is 4 as p cannot be 0 because p q r are also related by this relation if any one of them will be 0 all the three will be 0 which is not possible that's why the value will be 4 without actually calculating the value of p q r we can find out the value of the expression so answer is 4 question number 59 a b c are positive integer 
in geometric progression. So, I can consider them as a, a r and a r square and as b by a is integer therefore, I can say r is also an integer specifically a positive integer because the numbers are positive. Now, we have one more relation that the arithmetic mean of a b c it means a, a r and a r square their arithmetic mean is given as b plus 2 or a r plus 2. So, the new relation is this is 3 a r then the relation is a r square minus 2 a r plus a is equal to 6 or we can write it as a times r minus 1 whole square equals to 6. Now, r minus 1 whole square is square of an integer. So, 6 by a should be an integer a is also integer. So, a must be a divisor of 6. So, the possible values of a is 1, 2, 3 and 6 by 1 if a is 1 6 is not a perfect square if a is 2 again it is not a perfect square not even at a equals to 3 but when a is 6 r minus 1 whole square is 1 which is a perfect square so r minus 1 is plus minus 1 or r is 2 we will drop the value 0 if r is 2 then we have the numbers we have the numbers a is 6 then b is 12 and this is 24. So, all the conditions are satisfied. We can find the value of this expression a square plus a minus 14 upon a plus 1. This is 36 plus 6 minus 14 divided by 7 which gives us 4. So, the answer is 4 but, but one more way of thinking the same problem is if we divide the expression which they have they have asked we can say it is a minus 14 upon a plus 1 now a plus 1 must be an integer a plus because a is an integer we have to find the value of this expression which is definitely going to be between 0 to 9 now if a plus 1 is is assigned in such a way that 14 upon a plus 1 is an integer because if a 14 upon a plus 1 is not an integer this is not going to be an integer so what are the possible values of a plus 1 is is 2 then 7 and 14 which gives us three possible values of a now one is rejected because this will be negative a equals to 6 is acceptable and 13 at 13 it will be 13 minus 1 12 which is not the answer which cannot be the answer because answer is from 0 to 9 that's why just by thinking this manner we can find the answer that a is should be 6 anyway the answer is 4 question number 60 in 60 there are n points on a circle the number of points are n and if we connect the consecutive segments consecutive points are connected then there will be n such segments and total number of line segments if we want to count then it will be nc2 out of all these segments we will exclude the points exclude the segments which are made by joining the consecutive points so these are the number of line segments which will be of red color and n will be the number of line segments which will be of blue color so both are given as equal we will just solve this equation it is equals to 2n after solving we will have the value as n equals to 5 so 5 will be the answer